Greetings, everyone. This is the Hipster Snack, and much to my pleasant surprise, Zed Technician dropped two games at the same time. This was apparently another Christmas-themed game, much in the same vein as No Strings Attached, and was supposed to be out in late December, apparently got delayed. You know, these things happen. But I'm really excited, and uh, I'm going to be playing both of these at the same time as to which one you guys will see first. I haven't decided yet, but you guys kind of know what this is going to do to my upload schedule, because I love, love, love these games. So as always, we're going to check our controls. Move, run, interact, advanced dialogue, fire. Okay, reload. We're going to get a gun? I, don't know, I assumed that in um, Fish, uh, Fish's Tale and uh, was surprised. Best decent, dear God, no. Mute final BG? Why is that its own toggle? Let's get into it, I guess. Should you ever find yourself near the outskirts of town, Macmillan Tree Lot is assuredly not far from being found. Is it Macmillan or Macmillian? Hmm. It's closed for the warmer months, so don't even bother making the drive. But as the nights grow cold, this place suddenly comes alive. I didn't realize we were rhyming at first. Oh! Oh, hey! It's, um... Lang! Yeah! <laughs> we got to see him way back in Vermander Curse. Back when I kept calling it Curse of J.P. Vermander. Uh, we haven't... Yeah, no, he must be better. He's carrying that tree over his shoulder like it's nothing. So, yeah, his back injury must have healed up. Look at you go, Lang. Thanks a lot for giving me such a good deal on this tree. Once it's been chopped into firewood, my family will be as warm as can be. You're gonna use a pine for a fire? You're very welcome, Mr. Boyd, and I've still got plenty left on the lot. If you ever need another one, just let me... You know the spot. You always had the best firewood in town, and it never you never get low. I was sure to tell Jasmine and the kids you said hello. So thanks again, Cynthia. Now I'd better get going. I need to make it home before it starts snowing. <laughs> I didn't realize that literally everyone is going to be rhyming. That's cute. I like that. Fall in hand, Lang departed into the night. Once the wood was added, his fireplace indeed shone extra bright. Cynthia watched as he left the second-to-last customer to leave her lot, but her last customer had still yet to be sought. Okay, playing as Cynthia then, yes. She remembered that another soul had entered the lot and yet knew he had not departed. It wasn't uncommon for most to become lost, as a large portion of the lot still remained uncharted. I grabbed Mr. Reliable from the shack and then head in. And so she steeled herself for what was to come, for her struggle was only just about to begin. What? We kind of have that. I have to look all the way down for the trespasser problem to reveal itself. I am moving really slow. I'm going to take a moment and look around. We got our... Oh, it's a mirror! Look at us go. Looking good. Ah, this is what you meant by reliable. Trusty shotgun was here when I first bought this lot. Let me down, it certainly has not. Not sure what strange things the Macmillans are up to in their past. This weapon is endless rounds and was seemingly built to last. The word space is engraved into the trigger and the letter R is on upon the base. I know that it will protect me as I journey deeper into this place. So, unlike Bitmar No Zero, I have to reload, but I can let loose. Got a microwave, got a... It's not, it feels like a TV. Just looking to see what I can see. More just infinitely dense forest, because I love me that. You know, I wouldn't mind living in a little place like this. If I could fit my computer instead of that TV, we'd be golden. I move so slow. I can run... Oh, okay. Run is a toggle. That's good. Hey, get out of the store! <laughs> I want to close up for the night. This place is big. This makes me nervous, because this is going to super limit what I can see. I'm heading towards the building, so... Whoa. Oh, I hate you! I hate you a lot. Reminds me of a uh, Captain Warrington. Maybe I shouldn't open fire until I have cause to open fire. Going nuts might come back to bite me. Might. Wait, this is where I started! Where Cynthia stood a very, very familiar place. 
Though identical to her home, she knew all too well the tricks employed within this space. Oh! This is kind of like Captain Warrington. We got some spatial distortion here. In times past, the way forward was revealed that you're crossing the threshold of the door. Undoubtedly, this trick would work again just as it had once before. Alright. So that's the direction Lang headed out, or the equivalent of the space that Lang headed out. Oh, I saw that. I hate that. Oh, this mirror doesn't work. That's kind of, um... That's the same thing that happened in the bit more now. When I checked the mirror in the far away this Dark World house. Cynthia readied herself that she knew the real challenge lied ahead. The decoration she'd bought a long, a long ago had been turned against her and now wanted her dead. The lot's strange nature enabled it to control things made from wood. That's everything! And when the lights went out, she knew getting close to the wooden soldiers would not end good. A little bit of a forced rhyme, but... Okay, so... Darkness is my enemy. And decorations are my enemy. So, is it like they can only move when it's dimmed? Thankfully, it doesn't go completely pitch black. I hear something. No, I think I was right to just hate these things. I don't think I was wrong at all. Don't even try. Double tap. Not risking it. She said it has bottomless ammo, and they're not getting up again, so... I'm willing to take her at her word. Boom! Uh-uh. I'm taking precisely zero chances. I always die in these games. I don't know if there was... A... No, there's one or two that I've managed to beat without actually failing. I think, uh, Curse of J.P. Vermander I managed to beat. No, it did it again. The Vermander Curse. The Vermander Curse I beat in my first attempt. This feels too easy. It feels like I'm doing too well, you know? Other shoes gotta drop. This is how you know we're in the south, though. Ready with that, that shotgun on the word go? Yeah, you better believe it. I was half expecting something to jump out at me. I kind of forgot my thought. Yeah, the, in the dark world, the mirror didn't cast a reflection. So... That's kind of the same idea. Uh-uh. I'm not letting you get the drop on me. I am properly paranoid now. Oh, it gets darker each time. Nope! Not giving you guys the chance. Oh! Interesting. So I bet the red ones are proximity-based. Whereas these blue guys are probably going to be more aggressive. And this place is definitely bigger. Might have been the same size on my way back, but... So it's red light, green light for keeps, basically. She must be using slugs if it hit that far away. Oh, I hadn't considered they might get up again. I have to assume that's a real possibility. That may not come into play, and then again, it may be one of those things that only comes into play much later on. But I can't rule it out.
Though it's interesting. This is kind of, um... Really, this is like the, the hero is taking a very proactive response to the threat. I don't like that sound. Can I clip him from down here? Yes, I can. Straight down the range. The real danger is if I actually go past anything and they try to get the drop on me from behind, that could put me in a very losing situation. And if it gets darker each time that happens, I am not going to like it. I bet there's something moving on the other side of that fence just to mess with me. That would definitely be a thing I'd do as a game dev. Steady wins the race. I think you put on the itch page that this one's fairly short. But I mean, he released two games at the same time. So, like, <laughs> are you really going to complain? I find it interesting because I've already I've already played the other one, but. Not only is this kind of, like, introducing a, a whole bunch of new locations, it's finally showing us protagonists who aren't just reacting. In The Man from the Window and The Remander Curse, we were just reacting to a threat. In The Bit More No, we were completely, completely at the Dark World's mercy. I'm just gonna keep checking the bathroom for funsies. I mean, why not? But here, we're, we're seeing, like, in the other game, there's a detective. And in this one, I just have a shotgun. Yeah. I'm bringing the, the, the solution. I am offering solutions, not problems. Yeah, they're moving faster now. Yeah, like, it's really cool. We, we, we've gone from from heroes who are reactive to their situation to characters who are being very, very proactive. This is not Mama Rabbit damsel in distress territory. We are literally going Ash versus the Army of Darkness here. That is really close. That guy required two bullets to drop. And do I? Okay, it's two shots. I thought it was one for some reason. Limitless ammo, you get to experiment with these things. Bang. So the black soldiers seem to just kind of charge fearlessly. They seem to be a lot faster than blues. Yeah, don't give them the opportunity to sneak up on you. You guys are probably like, up. Oh, what are you so afraid of? Well, everything. Because these games have managed to get the drop on me repeatedly, and usually, I'm pretty ironclad with horror. I'm usually pretty good. But it's these games that always get under my skin. I don't know. Maybe it's because it feels like this is a type of horror that's kind of invading into my home turf. I'm from the American South. So realizing that these threats are essentially my backyard. Yeah, that gives me home field advantage. That also means I have to play in the home field. Green? Looks like you were wearing jet black. Okay, greens take two shots and are very aggressive in their approach. Blues take one shot and are more casual. Reds seem to be proximity-based, and I have yet to get close enough to one to activate them. And guess what? I don't plan on changing that. This is way too easy. There's going to be something that starts chasing me, I just don't know what it is yet. 
I'm in a lot full of trees. The evil power that controls wood is definitely at the advantage here. Don't get me wrong. Shotgun... Gun, shotgun is the great equalizer. And I will use it for all it's worth. Down the lane. And, like, that's the funny thing. Is, like, this is one of those situations where not only is the character being proactive, she's done this before. She knows how this works. This is another day at work for her. This little lady is, like, way cooler than I'll ever be. Thought I saw something move. What the heck? I knew it was going to escalate. I just didn't think I was going to escalate into Slenderman territory. Gee, I guess that's not Slendy. I guess that's a weird dark tree? Kind of reminds me of Runo a little bit. That sounded really weird. Are they just louder, or am I going crazy? Looks like the rules still apply, just much, much faster now. Uh-uh. Stay down. You know what's good for you, you're not going to try that again. That was a little bit of luck on my part, but I'll take it. Might have been a blue. I wonder if their positions are randomized. That would be an interesting way of keeping things fresh. That way you can't just learn the enemy layout and then just storm through. Yeah, he was a blue. I was right. Gotta say, this is way more high tension than, uh... No strings attached. I definitely feel the threat a little bit more palpably. Load. There may not be anything that approaches my back, that may very well be the point. Like, you're always trying to move forward. But I don't know, I just always like to think, if I was the game dev, what would I do to mess with the player's expectations? A lot of it's stuff that the game dev might not ever implement, or might find frustrating. But for me, having them get back up again after the fact, would be a good way to incentivize people to mind themselves at all times. I really don't like how I kind of see a face on it. Might be me personifying it, but what do I know? Never even read the Kalevala. I've heard it's a fascinating read. Alright, so far so good. My snaking pattern, or snacking pattern as it were, seems to be a winning strategy here. Holy moly, that's further than I thought. Hmm? I swear I thought I saw one of them coming right at me from behind. That probably was too far away to count. Mm. 
Nothing has given me any reason to believe that anything's gonna come up from behind. I'm just paranoid. I play a lot of horror games. Watching behind me is what I do. But honestly, I like the fact that people in this world are finally taking notice. Like, there's so much weirdness in this town. And I mean, I guess to some people, it would just become routine. You know, it's just part of the day job. Put down the, you know, otherworldly evil. You know, bake the cake, do the laundry. You know, it's all standard stuff. But at the same time... Alright, gun's not working, so... What's, uh... What are we doing? What are we doing here? Hi? Hey, buddy. Wake up, you need to step out of this trance. We both have to get out of here while we still have the chance. Hard park? No, he's a moth! Oh my gosh. Whoa, I don't know how I got here, if I'm to be completely frank. My head spinning in the last few hours are a complete blank. Everything's a blur, and I'm not sure what I would have done without you. But someone's calling my name, and I think this tree might just be who. I wouldn't trust that if I was you. You're not the first person to wander in here, and I doubt you'll be the last. Thing, This thing's called a Gretel tree, and they thrive in places with a dark, dark past, which is like everywhere in this town. It was here when I bought the place, and it calls the people in the night. Worst of all, these trees only sprout up from soil that was once a mass grave site. Lovely. Cynthia knew the hardest part of their escape still had yet to be done. There's more? <laughs> so she uttered only a single word, and that word was run! That's not good. Whoa, no, no, no. I'm kinda glad that run is just a toggle. Dang it! Run is just a toggle now. Silent night air was pierced by a sickening crack. The lot had finally taken Cynthia, and now she was never coming back. We'll see about that. Like I said, I always have to lose before I win. Alright, no playing around. Let's do this! Come on, Mothman, keep up. I don't have the luxury of time, so I just have to do the best I can with what I got. Crap, I did it again. I have a very short window to do something about that. Okay, the game is officially hard now. We got this. Talk on my sprint, and let's get out of here. Okay, my initial snacking strategy might not be a bad idea still. Hitting enemies at a distance may be our best key at this point. Missed. Dang it! Okay! You know, I was kind of thinking the game was too easy. It's gonna show me. <laughs> this is because I put no strings attached at number 10 on my top 10, isn't it? We just cannot hurt the ones in the white uniform. We just have to run. See, I knew, I knew in my heart of hearts that something here would force me to run. There would be some tension at my back that would ultimately force me to take this threat way more seriously. Honestly, at this point, the red ones are kind of the worst because if they get the drop on me, we have a real problem on our hands. Oh, 
also a red one on the left, but I don't think he's gonna aggro at that distance. Gonna hang towards the center here. Reload! Please reload! Don't need extra tension, thanks. I have a little bit of wiggle room. It's not without mercy. Fast. Blue guys are way faster than I thought. Oh, jeez. Thanks for your help. I really mean it, truly. Probably of my life. For that, I'll never be able to repay you duly. Better get out of here before anything else goes wrong. Hopefully we can meet again under better circumstances before too long. Without another word, he made his leave. There's no doubt after that night he had quite the tale to weave. Sometimes I wonder if owning this place is worth it, given that danger is always near. But I wouldn't have it any other way, and I'm already looking forward to next year. Whew, <laughs> that last bit. I think I got a little bit of uh, RNG luck on that last stretch. But uh, I'm not going to sneeze that. It seems like I had a little bit more leniency than I thought I did, but that early bit made me more than a little nervous. Now, see, the one star makes me curious. I didn't see an option for a hard mode. So if the video ends here, then I wasn't able to find any additional endings or anything. I don't know, I'm going to try, like, speedrunning it and see if maybe that changes anything. This has been the Mc McMillian. Yeah, it does say McMillian on the title screen. I'm not going crazy. I thought I was edgenition about that. Uh, this is fun. Of the two Christmas-themed games, I would say this is the superior one. And again, I really like that we're finally seeing the average citizen taking up some kind of resistance against the supernatural in this world. And there's been a lot of that. Like, like you, you could argue, like, the fish, that there is a hard counter to the fish, or at least a stall tactic against the fish. Um, but, like, a lot of it, like, the man from the window is still around, like, the, the weird creature uh, that Deborah had to fight was still around. This world is really bizarre, but to see people finally fighting back against it is fantastic. I really enjoyed this one. This one <laughs> got my pulse up a bit. Uh, really, really great stuff. This has been the McMillan, or maybe the McMillian, I don't know, tree, and the... Link, as always, is going to be in the description. Try it out for yourselves, and I'll see you guys next time.